Hi and welcome back to the lab. And today here on the bench we have a Yaesu FTDX 101 MP. So the radio came in uh, with uh, two folds. So first of all um, the old man uh, claims that uh, the automatic a keyer does not work, so it only produces dots, single dots. Um, and uh, secondly, that uh, when he uh, put in his headphone, that uh, all the uh, external or internal loudspeakers wouldn't get switched off. So, that is something uh, we need to look into, so let's right start. All right, and uh, here is our FTDX 101 MP. And uh, well, let's uh, just uh, start um, because we really need to find out what's really going on with uh, our keyer. So therefore, let's connect um, a key, a pedal at least, because uh, we want to check the automatic here so let's see what's going on here okay so let's uh, first connect here a here which we all right so what we need to connect into our key jack and uh, all right so um it is now uh, connected here very nice uh, and now let's uh, see that we uh, get the settings right so of course uh, we need uh, let me go a little closer here so that we all can uh, see it a little bit better of course uh, we need uh, to switch in um, money and uh, okay so uh, you hear that is uh, what uh, the old man uh, meant when he said he only can uh, produce uh, dots like uh, with a normal old-fashioned uh, key. Anyway, so I don't put in a uh, break uh, in. Uh, now we can go here into the menu. So let me see that you can really everything see and we have here our um, setting for um, CW all right so we have the front uh, keyer and we have uh, the rear uh, keyer and um, right so front uh, keyer is selected and uh, you have here a bunch of uh, different uh, options as you can see and uh, ACS is okay I mean you can as well put uh, ELA key A um, into it um, anyways uh, let's uh, choose ACS um, so that is only to put it on the uh, on the normal function or if you are um, working with uh, left hand then you can put it reverse so you see you can uh, really do quite a lot uh, rear gear is off which is fine for the moment uh, nothing to complain so uh, CW white so that looks uh, quite okay and um, well looks good um, mode is uh, from the first look it seems to be um, okay so I do not think that we need to do more but still you see it uh, is not really working as uh, it should um, so let me see if we can get both maybe so okay so you see it is working 
here on the pedal, but you see, not really. So that is no um, electronic key working. So we can um, adjust the speed, as you may see here, right? So that is possible, but it doesn't work. So, so far, um, it is uh, true what he said, but I believe he really uh, missed a very important setting. And that is, let me go over here to um, our... So that is the speed um, adjustment, as we have seen it before, but if you want to set the keyer, if you want to not, uh, if you want to use the electronic keyer, you need to switch it in. So until your LED glows. So that is very important. And now let's see if it works now. So let me go here back and let's check if it is now good. Ah! Okay, so now we uh, can set our uh, monitor, oops, we can set our monitor level. Uh, let me go in here and let's do it. Is it working? Money level once again. Yeah, so that is definitely working. And uh, let me see if we can uh, change uh, the speed, which is of course important. And you see that uh, is working. So you see uh, you can easily run into an operation uh, arrow. So uh, that is uh, what obviously happened here um, with uh, the electronic keyer. So from my point of view that is uh, definitely uh, fine. So uh, no uh, doubt. And of course uh, let us check if uh, the break-in is uh, working uh, as well. So that is something of course uh, we need uh, to check. So let me see where is our um, output level. So RF is adjusted to uh, 5 Watt. So let's see how it uh, turns out. Okay, so therefore let us go here to um, our output. Let's see if we can do it a little bit better. So break in is the switched on. And you see it is uh, working. So let me um, put a little bit more output power. Let's set it to, let's say, 40 watt and let's see if it works. Yes, it is working. So that means um, the reported uh, problem regarding the electronic key is uh, not a problem. So it is working. So obviously um, he did not uh, really recognize that uh, the key, the electronic key, needs to get switched on. So that's it. Very, very easy. Okay, so then let's uh, check if the internal uh, speaker um, would uh, switch off. Uh, so 
we can do it uh, this way so we hear um, the internal speaker and uh, now wrong one this one is right and you see it is definitely not switching off not the main either the uh, sub one both are still there so yes uh, I believe there is something wrong so let me uh, here go again into the setting let's go to operation uh, general looks good to me and okay ah okay so here we have a headphone so we can uh, decide if we want uh, to have it uh, separate so that means uh, sub um, and um, main uh, separated or we can combine it as you can see so uh, that is what you can do but it does not uh, change here the situation so we cannot um, or the internal speaker does not get switch off and that is definitely uh, wrong okay so I've connected my external speaker so that you see the the internal on the sub and uh, here on the main uh, let me see if we can wrong one okay so now it is a little bit more dominant if you hear that is not the internal right if I now pull here you see it is switching over to the internal so that is telling me that uh, it uh, is switching between internal and external but when I put in here my uh, headphone right my headphone it will not switch off okay and that is something we need to investigate a little bit more all right and as always uh, we need to understand the situation uh, a little bit better by looking into our service manual so we start as always with our block uh, diagram and uh, we zoom in here to our front panel uh, where we got where we got the information about our uh, jack unit so that is what we see here right now let's see we can enlarge it even a little bit more and uh, now we have uh, our both uh, jacks the key jack so that is what we have uh, already tested and uh, here is our headphone uh, jack so um, we uh, always have uh, a stereo jack here uh, since we uh, want to distinguish between left uh, and right for main and sub or both together so that is what uh, we have seen we can um, adjust that so that means uh, this is uh, the portion where we get the audio signal uh, but here is another portion uh, so you see there's a little contact which uh, gets uh, moved inside and uh, we need to understand what the function of uh, this uh, three pins are so let's uh, see 
where we can find what uh, this uh, switch here uh, does. All right, and therefore we have here the drawing of our jack unit. And uh, let's see what uh, we can learn from here. Uh, phones, headphone, okay. So let's see uh, what we have. Okay, again we uh, see here our here and there, so that is obviously our headphone audio. Uh, let's see if I uh, hope you can read it. So that is uh, headphone one, headphone uh, two, so that means uh, left and right for main and uh, sub, uh, if you like, and uh, we get it to our normal contacts on our um, stereo jack. So that is uh, what we have here. So you see we have uh, three contacts, which means ground, left and right. So that is what it is. But then we have here additional two, or not two, it is uh, four at least. Um, but down here at uh, the connector we have um, five pins whereby one is not uh, connected and what we see here that this side is uh, connected to ground and when we push in uh, the jack this one gets bent a little bit over. So that means this middle and this contact gets um, closed and that means our ground gets connected to CNTL. So, ah, okay, so that is a control unit. So that is a control unit line and that means that um, our jack itself, so the internal switch, oh, you can't see it here, the internal switch uh, inside is reporting to the processor that uh, the headphone is uh, pushed in and that then means that um, the processor will automatically automatically mute uh, the internal or external speakers which are connected to the radio and yeah so the information is simply because the controller unit um, the controller unit line on pin 4 uh, will put to ground and that is finally the information for the radio for the processor that the headphone is plugged in and maybe that uh, something is wrong exactly with uh, this switching here so that is uh, definitely the first what uh, we need to check. And that means let's uh, crack here the radio open and uh, let's see what's uh, going on here on our phone's jack. All right, so our radio is apart. So, of course, uh, we have here our uh, front panel where we have our connectors, of course, which uh, is running here over to the audio unit. So what we have uh, over there is our audio unit and of course our uh, headphone jack is of course connected to our um, audio board of course. And uh, down here we uh, have our main board and what you see here with uh, the huge heatsink so that are the Bose uh, FPGAs um, 
which are running here uh, the radio on the digital side, if you will. Um, now we uh, need uh, first to go down uh, to the front panel and to uh, see if we can see something obvious and uh, of course the same we have to check on the audio unit if we don't see anything obvious uh, we need to start uh, testing. From this side we have a relatively uh, good view uh, to the audio jack so that uh, is our five uh, pin jack connected to the uh, headphone um, so that uh, looks uh, solid uh, no problem so next of course is as already discussed uh, we check if the internal switch works but first let me go over to our audio unit right so let's see where the wires is going to so that is here obviously um, the wiring which goes over to over there let me check let me try to zoom in uh, where is the connector we are looking for that is that one. Oh come on what is that What is that? Hey, come on, that is loose. Is that? Yes, it is loose. Okay. So that means if that is loose, that would of course explain um, why our headphone jack is not working at all. Okay, so let me press it in which I think yeah it is definitely now completely in that looks good anyway so we have here good um, access if we need to start testing but first if we are lucky then that was a problem so let's go back to our front panel right so let me check we switch it in again and let's see okay so we definitely hear the static from our both channels so you hear the difference because that's the reason why I did it here a little bit different that we hear the difference between the both um, receivers right main and sub and I think you clearly hear the difference. So let's put both and what we expect of course when we now connect our headphone to the jack we expect that it gets silent. Ha <laughs> ha! Wow! Here we are! So let me check if the speaker, uh, if the headphone is working. And yes, it is. So um, I can hear both uh, separate. So one channel on left, the other channel sub and main on uh, the right side, the other on the left side. And that is, let me double check what we um, have set it to yes here headphone um, mix so that is separate that means you hear it on both sides and of course we can set it to combine that we hear both channels on um, both uh, headphone sides however you want to describe it so that is then definitely back uh, working so that is great okay so that is exactly uh, what we want so 
perfect. Okay, so what can I say? That uh, is the whole what uh, we needed to do. So the only thing left, of course, is that uh, we uh, put it now all together and we are finish with uh, this repair. So, um, okay, what can I say? Thanks for watching and catch you next time. Bye. Bonus material. So for all of you who like to see the power amplifier and the low pass filter here, it's a filter bank. So that is a tune at 200 watt power amplifier. And uh, here we have the Bose RX uh, units for uh, both um, sub and main. Very nice construction, so that is really a beauty.